In this lecture, you will learn how to delete a document from a MongoDB collection from your Express app using Mongoose. Let's go to VS Code. And here, we are going to implement this Delete Movie API. So the first thing which I will do here is I will make this function as a sync. And inside this function, let's also use try catch block. And this catch block is also going to receive the error object. All right. Now here, what we need to do is we need to find a document by its ID and then we want to delete it. For that, on the movie model, we can call a method called find by ID and delete. And to this find by ID and delete method, all we need to do is we need to pass the ID by which we want to find the document and then delete it. And we are going to get that ID inside this request object where we have this params property and in that params property we are going to have this id as a property of this params object right because we are going to receive this id as a route parameter so if i go to this movies route there for this delete api if you see we are also specifying this id route parameter so whatever value we will specify for this id route parameter that will be assigned to this id property of this params object so based on that ID, we want to find the movie object and then we want to delete it. And here I'm also going to use the await keyword because we want this find by ID and delete method to find the movie object and then delete it. So we want to wait for that process to complete. For that, we are using this await keyword. And once the movie document is deleted from the MongoDB collection, we want to send some response to the client. For that, on the response object, first we are going to set the status code and here we are going to set the status code to 204. That means no content because if you remember, we have learned earlier that with the delete request, we don't send any content in the response body. So that's why we are setting the status to 204. Then here, let's specify the JSON data. Now here we don't need to send any data, but just for understanding purpose, I'm trying to send some JSON data in the response. Okay, so here I will set the status to success. And then I will set the data to null. Because as I mentioned, with the delete request, we don't send any data in the response body. So this is it. Now, if this find by ID and delete method, if it was not able to successfully delete the movie object or the document from the collection, that means some error has occurred. In that case, it is going to return a rejected promise. So we are going to handle that rejected promise inside this catch block. So inside this catch block, what I will do is I will copy this code from here and I will put it inside this catch block. Okay, so we are not going to make any changes in this code. Here also, if some error has occurred, in that case, we want to send the status code as 404. And in the response, we want to send this JSON data where we are setting the status to fail. And we are setting this message property with the actual error message. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman. And there, let's open this delete movie API. And here, we need to specify the ID of the document which we want to delete. So let's go to this get all movies. And if I scroll down, uh, here we have this movie called test4. So let's say we want to delete this movie. So for that, we need to pass this ID with the delete request because with the ID only, the find by ID and delete method will be able to find the document using its ID and then it will delete that document. Okay, so we need to specify this ID. Let's go to this delete API and there instead of six, let's specify that ID. Okay. And now here I have selected the HTTP method as delete. And if I go ahead and if I click on the send button, a delete request will be sent to this API where the ID route parameter will be assigned with this value. And the find by ID and delete method will find the document with this ID in the movie collection because we are calling this method here on the movie model. So it is going to look for the document in the movie collection. And once it is able to find it, it is going to delete that movie object. Let's actually see that. So if I click on the send button, 
you see in the response we have not received anything but if i go to this get all movies and if i make a new get request to this api it should return us all the movies which we have inside the movies collection and in there you will notice that we have this test one movie we have this test three movie we have test two movie but we don't have test four movie that means that test four movie has been deleted from the movies collection okay so this is how we can delete a document from our express app using this find by id and delete method again this method is provided by mongoose and if you want to learn more about this method you can come to this mongoose documentation there you can go to this api section and click on model and if i scroll down here we should have find by id and delete method so here you can see we have this method find by id and delete if i click on this you can find more information about this method all right so in the last few lectures we learned how to perform crud operation on the mongodb database from our express app using mongoose we basically performed the create operation the read operation update operation and delete operation okay so now we already know how we can perform crud operation from our express app on the mongodb database now from the next lecture we are going to take these concepts to advanced level and we are going to learn how to filter documents how to sort documents how to add pagination and many more things so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day